what happened this weekend it's just like so painful i feel the pain and i'm black and i'm from africa so meaning like i don't you know like i grew up my childhood i didn't have to fit like i grew up without racism every day you know and it, like my heart goes out to like my black sisters and my black brothers in america because i can not imagine what it's like like i know what it's like as an adult i don't know what's like as a child to have your entire life defined like by white people you know like i'm in pain but i just feel like their pain is even like more you know and i and i feel like i always like want to recognize and like say like i see you and i know like my pain is not your pain like it's not the same you know like we are all black but like i don't know like it's just like i'm sure like my kids are going to be like black americans and like they will face the same thing but i just feel like i will fully never understand what it's like even though i'm black mm-hmm. you know anyway um you were going to read a poem is that still going to happen should i yeah i think you should yeah um <clears throat> so uh yeah, I'm going to read this poem, or if not a poem, I'm sorry, it's a prayer. It's a prayer. Uh, a prayer for, um, well, let me read this. It's a prayer of apology to African Americans. Uh, it was written by Marianne Williamson. Um, and uh, I saw this and I just thought it was, it was beautiful, uh, tragic, and necessary for this time. Um, and so I'm going to read it. On behalf of myself and on behalf of my country, to you and all African Americans from the beginning of our nation's history in honor of your ancestors and for the sake of your children, please hear this from my heart. I apologize. Please forgive us. With this prayer, I acknowledge the depths of evil that have been perpetuated against black people in America, from slavery to lynchings to white supremacist laws to the denial of voting rights, to all the ways, both large and small, that abuses have occurred, all of them evil, all of them wrong. For all of the oppression and all of the injustice, I apologize. Please forgive us. For the denial of human and civil rights, for inequalities and criminal justice, for instances of police brutality, for the denial of opportunity, for economic injustice, for all the ways that racism has fostered these wrongs, I apologize. Please forgive us. With this prayer, I acknowledge the beauty and genius of your culture, the power and genius of those who came before you, of your children and all your descendants. With this prayer, we pray that you, your children, and especially your men are blessed and protected. May your men be blessed and protected. May your men be blessed and protected. May all your men, women, and children be surrounded by angels at this time. Dear God, may a great healing occur. We place in your hand the relationship between black and white Americans. May we be lifted high above the walls that divide us. May our hearts be awakened to the truths of our oneness. May racism and prejudice be no more. May they dissolve in the presence of your love. Please come upon us and heal our hearts. To you, my African-American fellow citizens, please accept my apology on this day. It is to you and your grandparents and their grandparents before them and their grandparents before them. May the screams that were not allowed be allowed now. May the cries that never were heard be heard now. May the tears that were never heard be heard now. And may the healing begin. In this sacred container, may the healing begin. May the light of love now heal us all. Amen. Amen. (sighs) Yeah. I think we end with that. Yeah, I guess. Do you want to wrap up? Yeah, we'll, we'll send this blessing out in our 
our thoughts and our prayers are with our African-American brothers and sisters. We're far away, um, but we will speak and we will act and we will shift in our own thinking. Yeah, I'm... In our own way of doing and our way of being so that soon, very, very soon, this is just a part of our history and not a part of our present and never, never, ever again a part of our future. So, thanks for joining us for this difficult, this difficult episode. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. All right. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Take care.